like a sunflower that follows every movement of the sun so i turn towards you to follow you my lord in simplicity charity i follow in simplicity charity i follow like a sunflower that follows every movement of the sun so i turn towards you to follow you my lord Good afternoon my dear brothers and sisters our holy mass on this first friday of the month is being offered for the following intentions archdiocese of hyderabad and mary's basilica parish for the patients affected by covid-19 mass offered by valentina and theodore diocese of vijayawada ajisingh nagar parish for the protection and good health and thanksgiving for favors received for people suffering with corona and for the eradication of the disease mass offered by powell and family for all the seafarers who are stuck and since there is no there are no flights they cannot come home may god guide and protect them and keep them safe from all dangers mass offered by wellwisher from goa Archdiocese of Hyderabad and Mary's Basilica Parish for the repose of the souls of Gopal Arulas, Srimati J. Susai Mary, Tony Francis and all the departed souls who died in coronavirus and pray to request to eradicate coronavirus from the planet and bless all the frontline workers. Mass offered by Mrs. G. Pushpa Lurdu Mary and family. Archdiocese of Hyderabad, Santosh Nagar Parish. Mass in thanksgiving to Mother Mary offered by Esther Vincent. Archdiocese of Hyderabad and Mary's Basilica Parish for the intention of good health, good future of Jyoti, Maria Bernard and family. Mass offered by Harry. Thanksgiving Mass to the Sacred Heart of Jesus, Departed Soul, Harsh Dubey offered by family members. From Bangalore for good health of corona patients and to fully recover from fast and success in ssc exams for all the students mass offered by peddaneni chinappa and family archdiocese of hyderabad for good health of family members and relatives for good career growth of children and for the eradication of corona mass offered by tanali mariyadas and family archdiocese of hyderabad thanksgiving mass and good health of a family members offered by dinakar and family archdiocese of hyderabad thanksgiving mass for good health and for good future mass offered by sharon moses and family archdiocese of hyderabad intention for the quick release of corona virus medicine offered by emmanuel felix and family archdiocese of kolkata st anthony's parish lord save us our brothers and sisters and elders of our parish whole city of karakpur from this deadly corona virus mass offered by denzil robi and family archdiocese of hyderabad thanksgiving mass offered by james and family archdiocese of hyderabad thanksgiving mass offered by mr philip alexander jacinta philip and their only son mervin rohit mass offered by the family thanksgiving mass to jesus sanjay james immaculate and family archdiocese of hyderabad for the departed soul of xavier matthews stella matthews and all corona victims mass offered by vincent matthews and family thanksgiving mass to sacred heart of jesus offered by mary alfonso and family Archdiocese of Hyderabad thanksgiving mass to sacred heart of Jesus offered by A Phillips and family Diocese of Warangal sister Rosalina Tumma the sisters of Divya Jyoti Association Karunapuram mass intention the whole world and all the countries affected by corona may be protected and healed by the precious blood of Jesus our savior and humanity may know that Jesus is the savior of the world let us pray for all these intentions and also for the intentions of the donors of Divyavani TV in this holy mass Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 My dear brothers and sisters, let us remain a moment in silence. Offer our body, mind and spirit at the feet of the Lord. 
ask the help of the Holy Spirit that in true faith we experience the presence of God in this holy mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with and your, your spirit. spirit. My dear friends, in the first reading of today, the book of Jeremiah chapter 20, we read how people plot against Jeremiah to kill him and to attack him. And when we come to the Gospel reading, Gospel of John chapter 10, we read, Twice the Jews tried to attack him, stone him, and even to arrest him. The purpose is of both Jeremiah and Jesus by the people are that they should be eliminated. We pray for the cause for which Jeremiah and Jesus are being targeted. Today, we too share the same causes of the Lord. Therefore, placing our hands on our hearts with a contrite heart, feeling sorry for our inabilities, our negligence, and every action committed against the commandment of the Lord, we ask God's pardon and mercy. Let's make a confession before the Lord and say, I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, and sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts, in my words, in, words, in what, what I have done, done and, in and in what, what I have I failed, failed to do, to do through, my my fault, fault, through, through my fault, through my fault, through, through my, my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to, to pray, pray for, for me, me to the Lord, the Lord of our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on all of us. May He forgive us our every sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who have made all those reborn in Jesus Christ a chosen race and a royal priesthood, grant that we pray the grace to will and to do what you command, that the people called to eternal life may be one in the faith of their hearts and the homage of their deeds. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. First reading, a reading from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 20, verses 10 to 13. For I hear many whisperings, terror is on every side. Denounce him, let us denounce him. Say all my familiar friends watching from all my family, fall. Perhaps he, he will be deceived, then we can overcome him and take our revenge on him. But the Lord is with me as a dire warrior. Therefore, my persecutors will be stumbled. They will not overcome me. They will be greatly shamed, for, for they will not succeed. Their internal dishonor will never be forgotten. O Lord of hosts, who, who terrorize the righteous, who sees the heart and the mind? Let me see the vigency upon them. To the they have I committed my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has delivered the life of the needy from the land of evildoers. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your response. In, in my distress, I in, call to the Lord. In my distress, I call to the Lord. And he heard my voice. And he heard my voice. I love you, Lord, my strength, my rock, my fortress, my favor. My God is the rock where I take refuge, my shield, my mighty help and stronghold. The Lord is the worthy of all praise. 
when i call i am saved from the shores the wave of the rose about me your response in my distress in my distress i call to the lord i call to the lord and he heard my voice and he heard my voice the torrents of destruction assailed me the snare of the grave entangled me the trap of death confronted me in my distress i call to the lord i cry to god for help from from his temple he heard my voice my cry came to his ears your response in my distress in my distress i call to the lord i call to the lord he heard my voice he heard my voice from the holy gospel according to saint john glory, glory to you o lord john chapter 10 verses 31 to 42 the jews took up the stones again to stone him jesus replied i have shown you many good works from the father for which of these are you going to stone me The Jews answered It is not for a good work that we are going to stone you but for blasphemy because you though only a human being are making yourself god Jesus answered them It is not written in your law I said you are gods If those to whom are the word of god came were called gods and the scripture cannot be nullified can you say that the one whom the father has sanctified and sent into the world is blaspheming because i said i am god's son if i am not doing the works of my father then do not believe me but if i do them 
even though you do not believe me believe the works so that you may know and understand that the father is in me and i am in the father then they tried to arrest him again but he escaped from their hands he went away again across the jordan to the place where john had been baptizing earlier and he remained there many came to him and they were saying john performed no sign but everything john said about this man was true and many believed in him over there and this is the gospel for us today thanks to praise to you lord, lord jesus christ may the words of the gospel wipe away all our sins amen <clears throat> praise the lord hallelujah 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 my dear brothers and sisters in both the readings of today we hear people plot and plan to endanger and to attack and to kill on one hand jeremiah and the other hand jesus christ we know jeremiah was called by god anointed him and here we know jesus is the son of god the savior to redeem the whole world and if we understand the actual apostles chapter 10 verse 38 we read that jesus went around doing good for everyone he cured the sick delivered the oppressed for god's spirit was with him now i have a question today here over here when jesus was a good man he did good to everyone he healed the sick and delivered the demons why did people plot why did people try to kill and arrest jesus because for a good man nobody will plot for a good man nobody will arrest for good man nobody wants to kill and we know the most heinous death death on the cross nailing him on the wrist nailing him in his ankles flogged him and hanging on the cross from morning 9 o'clock till 3 in the afternoon long 6 hours jesus on the cross my dear friends to understand this heinous killing and crucifixion of jesus we need to look into the socio economical and political background at the time of jesus number 1 we know the mighty romans attacked jerusalem and they appointed pontius pilate as a governor to rule it was under the oppression of the romans the powerful empire number 2 we need to understand herod a very cruel man coming from a very low background of the society earned the money and he actually purchased the kingdom the kingship being the king and the ruler of israel especially of jerusalem and we know he killed his own wife and brother and members of the family even tried to kill jesus and such a man is ruling jerusalem at the time of jesus number 3 we need to understand my dear friends 
when Britishers were ruling India, how under the leadership of Mahatma Gandhi, Patel, Subhash Chandra Bose, people try for a freedom. In the same way, under the Roman Empire, under the oppression, the whole society was divided into four groups. The one number one group, my dear friends, are tax collectors. They supported Romans and collected the extra, extruberant taxes from the people and half of it they pocketed and the half they paid to the Romans. They were in support of the Romans, but really they persecuted the normal citizen of Jerusalem. Number two, my dear friends, are the Sadducees. The high priest, Annas and Caiaphas, are from this group. And we know they have the Temple of Jerusalem built in 13 acres and had their business in the temple of the all kinds of money changing and all kinds of sacrifices were the businesses of Annas and Caiaphas, the group of the high priest of the Sadducees. And number three, the third group is Pharisees who believed that the oppression of the Romans is due to the sin that people have committed for having disobeyed the commandments of the Lord and the rules and regulations of the Most High. So they hold on to the view that everyone should practice the rules and regulations and the law of the Lord to the maximum possible. And number four, the last group was, my dear friends, the zealot. Jesus had called Simon the zealot as one of the apostles in his group. They were actually the people in our, in our uh, understanding, we can call it, they were like Naxalites. They were patriots and tried to attack the Roman soldiers and to free the people from their oppression. Now the question is, why these four groups turned against Jesus, especially the Pharisees? Number one, my dear friends, tax collectors turned against Jesus because Jesus taught and told the tax collectors, do not collect extra taxes. Be satisfied with the wages given to you and they are not happy with Jesus. Number two, the Sadducees, especially the high priests, Jesus twice, once at the beginning of his ministry, the second at the end of his ministry, walked straight into the temple of Jerusalem and he chased out the money changers, the people who were selling animals and the birds, telling them, my house is called a house of prayer and you have made a den of robbers. Take them away from here. And Jesus chased them out. They were angry with Jesus for he was the cause of the destruction of their business in the temple of Jerusalem. Number three, my dear friends, the Pharisees were angry for Jesus disobeyed the rules of the Sabbath. He deliberately broke the Sabbath rules and healed the sick. He said, the man is not for the Sabbath, but the Sabbath is for the man. And they were angry. And my dear friends, the zealot group was angry for Jesus made his teachings against the principles of this Naxalites fanatics people. Therefore, the entire society was against Jesus for he spoke the truth. He challenged the authorities. He questioned the illegal regulations that oppress the people of God. Therefore, today when we read the gospel, my dear friends, we read that the scribes and the Pharisees, they tried to arrest, they tried to stone, they tried to kill Jesus twice in today's reading. Now, my dear friends, finally before we conclude, I want to read one passage before you. That is 1 John chapter 3, verse 9 and 10. Those who have been born of God do not sin, for God's seed abide in them. 
because they have been born of God. The children of God cannot do evil. All those who do not do the right thing of the Son of God are those who have been delivered and from brothers and sisters. My dear friends, here, when we and I, when all of us anointed and lived and moved in the Holy Spirit, we cannot oppress, we cannot tell lies, and we cannot commit a sin against a God. And those who commit a sin are children of the devil, we call it. Therefore, John the baptizer, Jeremiah, Jesus, all of them, anointed by the Holy Spirit, spoke the truth, challenged the illegal system of the society, and they even strongly opposed every evil system. My dear friends, as we participate in this Holy Mass over here, anointed by the Holy Spirit, by the baptism, and all the sacraments, we have the Spirit of God within us, which must strengthen us to challenge and to oppose and to stand for what is truth, what is right, and what is acceptable according to the commandments of the Lord. Let us pray. Holy Spirit of God, as we listen to God's word, we pray that the Spirit of God may enable us to keep the commandments and to stand for what is truth. Not to afraid of people who attack and kill the body, but to be afraid of the one who can kill the body and soul into the hell of Gehenna. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, the following Mass intentions are also offered in this Mass. Archdiocese of Hyderabad on birthday of Francis Zaroza and for good health of Burgala Sunil, B. Janet Zaroza and all the family members offered by Burgala Sunil and family. Archdiocese of Hyderabad for the repose of the soul of Mr. Devaraj and special intention of Sister Irene offered by Susai Mary and family. Thanksgiving Mass offered by P.S. Christopher, Hrudaya Mary, Prabhudas and Elizabeth Sunita. Thanksgiving Mass to Sacred Heart of Jesus offered by G. Peter Cardoz and family. Archdiocese of Vishakhapatnam for the intention of Thanksgiving by Moses and Cecilia family. Vijayawada Diocese, all the people who died in COVID-19 for their souls to rest in peace. Offered by Anthony Mayer, Annette Mayer and family. Archdiocese of Hyderabad for all the departed souls of the family and souls departed with coronavirus. Offered by Clement and family. Archdiocese of Hyderabad, thanksgiving mass to sacred heart of Jesus for all the blessings received by Clement and family. For all the souls died in because of coronavirus. Mass offered by Aroginadan, Scholastica family. Archdiocese of Hyderabad for good health and prayer for the old, that the coronavirus may be eradicated throughout the world by Sachin Lewis. Archdiocese of Hyderabad, offered mass offered by Seva Ludhreddy, Lily Mary, Mary Anusha, Mumadi Sundaramma, offered by Seva Ludhreddy. For good health of Kohelo and family, for the deceased souls of our family, safe return to our home, and for cure of coronavirus all over the world, especially Pune and the whole country, mass offered by Ida Kohelo. Archdiocese of Vishakhapatnam for the intention of good health of our parents, Ronald Vogt, Rita Vogt. Mass offered by the children and grandchildren. Archdiocese of Vishakhapatnam, Thanksgiving on the birthday of Meghna Rachel. Offered by Moses and family. Archdiocese of Vishakhapatnam, Thanksgiving Mass by Moses and Cecilia family. Archdiocese of Hyderabad, Thanksgiving Mass offered by Rakesh Reddy, Gund Reddy. Let us pray for all these intentions as well in this Mass. Are you Lord God of all creation? Thanks to your goodness, this bread we offer, fruit of the earth, work of our hands, it will become the bread of life. Blessed be God, blessed be God, blessed be God forever. Amen. 
Blessed be God, blessed be God, blessed be God forever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Thanks to your goodness, this wine we offer, fruit of the wine. Work of our hands, it will become the cup of joy. Blessed be God, blessed be God, blessed be God forever. Amen. Blessed be God, blessed be God, blessed be God forever. Amen. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that the sacrifice of ours become acceptable to the Lord, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice for your hands, for the praise and the glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy church. My dear friends, let us pray for all the intentions of this holy mass, for this entire world affected by the deadly COVID-19, people who are in the hospitals, the medical professionals and the doctors. Pray for the government and the national and the world leaders. Pray for every departed soul that this Holy Mass may strengthen in faith all of us who believe in Jesus that through the efficacy of the Holy Eucharist, we will be blessed and healed and delivered. We make all these prayers in the precious and powerful name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just of our duty and of our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the Holy Cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Jesus Christ crucified. And so the Lord, with all the angels and saints, we to give you thanks and exult as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and, and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you never cease to gather the people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a perfect sacrifice may be offered to your most holy name. And so, Father, we bring you these gifts of bread and wine, and we ask you to make them holy through the power of your Holy Spirit, that these may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ at whose command we celebrate this holy Eucharist. On the night when Jesus was betrayed, he took the bread, again he gave you thanks and praise. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, Take this all of you and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you.
when the supper was ended he took the cup again he gave you thanks and praise he gave the cup to his disciples and said take this all of you and drink from it this is a cup of my blood the blood of the new and everlasting covenant it will be shed for you and for all so the sins may be forgiven do this in memory of me let us proclaim the mystery of our faith christ has died christ, christ is risen christ, christ will, will come, come again. again therefore as we celebrate the memorial of your death and resurrection we offer you o lord the bread of life the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have called us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you humbly we pray partaking of the body and blood of jesus christ we may be gathered into the one by the holy spirit Remember O Lord your holy catholic church spread throughout the world and bring it into the fullness of charity to gather the Francis of Pope to Mabala Abishub and all the bishops and the clergy and the entire religious Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on all of us we pray that together the blessed virgin mary the mother of god saint joseph her husband and all the apostles and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be called heirs of eternal life and to praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours almighty father forever and ever amen Let us call upon the heavenly Father as Jesus has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. come. Thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, us give us this day our daily bread, bread and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. us. And, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. and graciously grant peace in our days by the help of your mercy deliver us from all sin from all evil from all the bondages of satan as to bless wait in blessed hope for the second coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom power, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. forever lord jesus christ you said to the apostles i leave you peace and my peace i give you look not on our sins but the faith of your people and graciously grant us peace in accordance to your will who lives and reigns forever and ever amen, amen. the peace of our lord and savior be with you always and with your spirit let's offer each other a sign of god's peace and love lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world grant us peace Lord Jesus Christ by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit your death on the cross has brought life to this entire world may this holy body and blood may keep us from all our sins keep us always faithful to your teachings and your commandments and never let us be separated from your holy divine presence This is Jesus Christ the Lamb of God whose body is broken and the blood is shed for the forgiveness of the sins 
happy are we who are called to receive him in this banquet of god's love lord i am not worthy, worthy that you should enter should under my roof but, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed may the body and blood of jesus christ be with you we celebrate this festive day with prayer and joyful song our father's house is home to us we know that we belong the bread is broken wine is poured a feast to lift us up then thank the lord who gives himself as food and saving cup The door is open enter in and take your place by right for you have been chosen as his guest to share his love and life the bread is broken wine is poured a feast to lift us up Then thank the Lord who gives himself as food and saving cup Who travels needs both food and drink to help him on his way refreshed and strong will journey one face another day the bread is broken wine is poured a feast to lift us up then thank the lord who gives himself as food and saving cup My dear brothers and sisters in this mass we are also praying for the following intentions for the safety and good health of Chawwa Varun Reddy Delhi offered by Chawwa Lut Reddy Lilly Mary Anusha and Mammadi Sundaramma Archdiocese of Visakhapatnam thanksgiving on the birthday of Meghna Rachel offered by Moses and family for the good intention of intention of good health and good future of Vatti Nikhil Reddy offered by parents Vatti Shaw Reddy Sujatha and family My brothers and sisters today is the first friday of the month and as we have been announcing from morning 7 until 7 in the evening we are observing a day of fasting and prayer and part of this program we have live telecast in the vivani tv from this afternoon 12 o'clock until 7 pm today and the following is the schedule right after this mass we have live stations of the cross prayed in telugu at 1 o'clock and at 2 uh, o'clock we have the talk by the uh, bishop of nellur and the tcbc chairman um, about the lenten uh, penances and at 2:30 we have the live rosary in telugu at 3 o'clock we have the prayer at uh, 3 pre- 3 pm live prayer in telugu of divine mercy chaplet which we are going to sing together and then at 4 o'clock we have the word of god preached by father benny and at 4:45 we have the special mass in telugu for corona victims and then at 6 o'clock we have regular 6 pm mass i request all of you to intimate the same to your friends and uh, parish uh, uh, brothers and sisters and your relatives so that with one heart in front of the tv we are united and pray for uh, corona victims on this day of uh, fasting and those people who do not get divyavani tv on cable i request you to kindly call your cable 
operator and demand for Divyavani TV or else you can shift to Tata Sky or Airtel. You can also watch all our programs live on YouTube. We have YouTube channel of Divyavani and you can watch every program live on YouTube and also on our apps which are found on uh, Google Play Store and also iOS, Apple Store. And uh, we request you to kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss any of the programs. And day after tomorrow, Sunday, is the Palm Sunday. And as you know, we have five Masses and all Masses are live. 6 a.m. we have Telugu, 7 a.m. English, again 8 a.m. Telugu. And at 12 noon, we have Mass in English and 6 p.m. Telugu Mass. We request every single Catholic family to offer at least one Mass in this Holy Week and in this season of difficulty due to coronavirus. Thank you and God bless you all. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us shares of his divine nature. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with and your, your spirit. spirit. I am at the path blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. May descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. This Mass is ended. Let's go to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Cross erected above the world, cross of our Savior King. O cross erected above the world, cross of our Savior King. Found from which gush the water